Hepatorenal syndrome essentially means that due to patient's malfunctioning liver, faulty liver, the patient's kidney also starts to malfunction. Now that kidney has no intrinsic defect, the kidney has no structural disorder, the kidney has no pre-existing diseases. The kidney is perfectly okay, but due to the patient's malfunctioning liver, the kidney also starts to malfunction. Acute kidney failure, acute renal injury, kidney injury can occur in these patients. Now, here is the deal about hepatorenal syndrome. This typically occurs in decompensated cirrhosis patients who develop portal hypertension. Now, portal hypertension, as there is a high pressure in the portal venous system, to cope up with that, body releases certain vasodilators like nitric oxide in the splanchnic circulation. Splanchnic circulation is a fancy word which means the blood vessels which supply the gastrointestinal tract. Now, what happens? These blood vessels which supply the gastrointestinal tract, they become dilated. So, more and more amount of blood, they come into the blood vessels which are supplying the gastrointestinal tract. And less amount of blood, less and less amount of blood reaches to the kidney. The kidney don't like it because kidney is not getting enough blood. So, now initially the kidney would start by vasoconstriction, by constricting the blood vessels. But with time, as less amount of blood is reaching to the kidney, the GFR would start to fall. And that would result in a renal failure, which is known as hepatorenal syndrome, the kidney malfunction, hepatorenal syndrome.